Which cloud jobs will survive the AI boom in 2026? Over the past two years, the rise of AI, especially generative AI, has changed the landscape of tech careers faster than really anything that we've seen before. Tools that can now generate code, troubleshoot errors, create infrastructure as code templates, and even automate entire business workflows have left many cloud professionals wondering what the future holds. It's very fair to ask whether AI is going to replace cloud jobs and if traditional roles will still exist. And maybe you're even wondering whether you should switch to AI now and completely abandon cloud. So these types of questions are being asked by a lot of people and they reflect a real sense of uncertainty in the tech world today. But the truth is more encouraging than many people expect. There is a lot of good news. We are seeing huge amounts of infrastructure spending happening in the US and around the world. In fact, in the US, there's more data centers under construction today than there are actual live operational data centers in the United States. And that is a huge capital injection. It's about building the infrastructure on which cloud is gonna run. That means that there are going to be a lot of new cloud jobs in 2026 when these data centers start to become operational and more and more companies are finding the need to build AI applications and keep up with the trend towards AI. So AI is not eliminating cloud jobs, it's transforming them and in many cases making them more important. Companies aren't moving away from the cloud, they're building more in the cloud, they're migrating more workloads into the cloud and building more applications in the cloud because that's where the capabilities that they need actually live. So what's changing is the kind of cloud skills they need and the way AI fits into those systems. In this video, I'll explain which cloud jobs will survive the AI boom and grow even stronger in 2026, and which roles maybe exist, what skills matter the most, and how you can position yourself to stay relevant and in demand. Now, AI is not working against the cloud. It's becoming tightly integrated with it. Every AI capability a company wants to deploy needs a secure, scalable environment to run in, and that environment is the cloud. Furthermore, the cloud providers like AWS, Microsoft with Azure, Google Cloud Platform and Oracle are building capabilities, cloud capabilities for artificial intelligence and machine learning. What that means is that companies can leverage those existing capabilities just like they would with any other cloud service without having to build it themselves. Now they can just build the application that leverages the capability. That's what cloud's all about. That's what happens with AI, just like any other technical capability. This means that cloud remains the foundation of modern technology, but the responsibilities of cloud professionals are expanding. AI is automating some tasks that used to take hours. Tools can now suggest infrastructure patterns, create code, generate deployment scripts, review log files, and even identify misconfigurations in running systems. But while AI can accelerate these tasks, it cannot take full ownership of them. It can't understand the business context, evaluate real risks to the business, or make choices about cost, security, and long-term architecture direction. That needs more discussion in the business, talking with different people in different parts of the business, different stakeholders, perhaps, in a project. What AI is actually doing is increasing the importance of cloud engineers, architects, DevOps professionals, and data engineers. AI systems are complex. They require high performance infrastructure, reliable data pipelines, secure API integrations, and scalable components. Cloud professionals are the people who can make all of that happen using cloud capabilities. So as AI grows, so does the need for these roles. It's not the other way around. Cloud engineers are needed now more than ever. AI does not deploy itself. Someone must configure the network, security controls, compute options, storage layers, and monitoring systems that support the AI-enabled applications. Even when AI suggests improvements or generates infrastructure as code, a human cloud engineer must validate, test, and maintain the environment. In fact, AI is making cloud engineering more interesting, not less. Cloud engineers now work closely with AI tools like Bedrock and integrate models into applications, manage vector storage, and ensure that AI systems run cost-efficiently and securely. AI enhances the role, but it does not replace it. 
but you do need AI skills on top of the cloud engineering skills. Now, solutions architects may be the safest and most future-proof role in the entire cloud ecosystem. Why is that? Well, because architecture is fundamentally about understanding business needs, evaluating trade-offs, considering long-term impacts, and designing secure, scalable, and reliable solutions that align with the company's goals. AI can assist with exploring options, but it can't replace human judgment. It's not going to replace those conversations where humans are working with each other and discussing the impacts to the business strategy and working with different subject matter experts in different parts of the business to make sure that the architectural decisions are able to be put into operations and then managed by those individuals. But architects have a new toolkit. They can now design RAG systems, choose between foundation models, plan how data flows into AI systems, and evaluate new security risks specific to large language models. Companies need architects who can design these next generation systems, making this role more valuable than ever. Again, if you're an architect working in the cloud, make sure you have AI skills to make yourself relevant and in demand going into 2026. Next, we have DevOps and CloudOps engineers. So these roles are evolving, they're not disappearing. AI can write pipeline steps or suggest Terraform modules, for example, but DevOps engineers still own the reliability of the production environment. They need to understand deployment strategies, failure modes, security boundaries, and compliance requirements. AI-powered workloads also introduce new engineering challenges, like how do you monitor AI model performance? How do you capture search latency? How do you track token costs? How do you roll back a bad prompt version? These are all DevOps responsibilities. And as AI becomes a standard feature in applications, DevOps engineers who understand AI behavior will be essential. Next, we have data engineers. Data engineers are experiencing one of the biggest career surges because AI cannot function without clean, well-structured, high-volume data pipelines. AI systems require continuous streams of up-to-date information, whether for training, fine-tuning, or powering rag paste solutions. And that means that data engineers must build pipelines that are capable of transporting and transforming large amounts of data with reliability and accuracy. They're responsible for data lakes, warehouses, streaming services, ETL workflows, and governance frameworks. With the explosion of AI and analytics, data engineering is one of the fastest growing cloud roles. Now, data engineering is also closely related to AI and ML engineering. Of course, AI ML engineers, the people who deploy, tune, integrate and manage AI models are in extremely high demand. They don't need to be math heavy researchers anymore. Instead, companies want engineers who can work with cloud services, run models in production, design RAG systems and integrate AI capabilities into real products. So where the cloud is providing those capabilities as a service, the AI engineers today are starting to build those capabilities into applications for companies. So AI ML engineers represent one of the strongest career paths moving forward, especially for those with cloud experience. So which job roles are at risk of being replaced? So AI is definitely boosting a lot of job roles, but there are some job roles that are becoming less necessary. Junior developers, basic cloud support roles, well, those are starting to disappear because AI can perform a lot of those operations. AI doesn't eliminate junior roles, but it does mean that companies are expecting more capability at that foundational level. So they expect you to come in with strong cloud capabilities and AI awareness. And you're going to start off doing more complex tasks than a junior role might have had in the past. So then we have some of the manual infrastructure roles like systems administration. A lot of this can be automated through AI these days. So companies are not looking for as many people who can manage servers manually. They want you to be able to use automation, orchestration, and cloud native solutions. So to remain competitive and protect your career, you need a mix of cloud fundamentals, AI literacy, and data awareness. Cloud architecture skills remain essential. Understanding networking, IAM security, compute options, storage solutions, and database services is the backbone of most cloud roles. And those skills will not go out of style because AI does rely on those underlying capabilities. You don't need to train models from scratch anymore, but you need to understand how LLMs work, where services like Amazon Bedrock fit into the architecture, how to design RAG systems and vector database embeddings, and how to build workflows that call AI models. 
These are applied skills that help companies add intelligence to their existing cloud platforms. So which certifications matter for these roles? The AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate is the most popular certification. And then there's the pro level as well. Now, the associate level certainly is something that I recommend everybody does because those skills are useful across many job roles. Then if you're managing CI CD pipelines and if you're doing a DevOps role, the Developer Associate and the Cloud Ops Engineer Associate. For those who are developing AI capabilities, the Certified AI Practitioner at the foundational level, the Machine Learning Associate, the Data Engineer Associate, and the Generative AI Professional. Those are all very useful certifications to have. And if you want a few more tips on which specific certifications apply to different job roles, check the article that's associated with this video. We also have pathways in our Cloud Mastery Bootcamp for people who are doing cloud engineering, solutions architecture, DevOps, AI, ML engineering, and security. So those are great AWS certifications. I suggest the Terraform Associate as a very useful certification for most people working in the cloud. It's a tool that's used across many enterprises. And then the Certified Kubernetes Administrator is useful for those doing DevOps roles as well. Now, the reality is that certifications are just one part of the puzzle if you want to move into this industry and gain a high paying job. The other is gaining hands-on experience. As I mentioned before, it's very difficult now to get junior level jobs and learn on the job. You actually have to hit the ground running when you get that job. So you need to come into the job with the hands-on skills already. And the type of tasks you're going to be doing, even on day one in a more junior role now, are going to be a level above what they were five years ago, let's say. So getting hands-on capability and experience is the key. Now, there's a few ways you can do that. You can work on projects on your own. You can find other people and collaborate. Or perhaps you might even work for companies on a, on a freelance basis to get some experience. Another way is to use a program such as our Cloud Mastery Bootcamp. That is a program where you get very hands-on. You work with other students on collaborative projects. You build lots of different applications that mirror real-world scenarios. You work with live instructors and live training multiple times a week, Q&As, and more. So that's a way to really develop hands-on skills. It goes past certifications. We actually created that program because I've seen so many people get certified and they just can't find a job. And the difference between getting certified and getting a job, that gap, that's what we try to fill with the boot camp. And it's all about experience. It's all about hands-on skills that you can demonstrate to employers by building a portfolio that you can showcase. And we have different pathways. So we have solutions, architecture, and cloud engineering. We've got DevOps engineering. We have AI and machine learning, and we have security. So whichever of those super popular pathways, all of which have strong job potential that you want to actually move into, we've got a pathway that we can customize for you. So if you're interested in that, check the description of the video, you'll find more information.